Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 55 days ago in the GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to be focused on the topic of the volume of a sphere. So we're going to look at how to find the volume of a sphere. So the volume of a sphere is found by four thirds pi r cubed, and that formula is given to you, so you don't need to learn that off by heart, but you know, like if you're like me, you might just remember it, four thirds pi r cubed. And if you get the Coke Maths Revision card, card number 90 is the one on the volume of sphere, so that'll be a useful one for you to use as well. So in today's video, we're going to look at how to find the volume of sphere. We're going to look at how to find the radius if we know the volume of sphere. And then we're going to look at some questions that involve using the volume of sphere, so perhaps using density and things like that. So in today's video, we're going to look at volume, so let's get started. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the volume of a sphere. So if we want to find the volume of a sphere, we use the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now that formula is given to you, but actually it's just one I remember off my heart. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So here we've got a sphere, and if you want to find the volume of a sphere, feel free to press pause now and work out the volume of that sphere and uh, do it yourself. Otherwise, in a second, I'm going to go through it. Okay, so if I wanted to find the volume of the sphere, I'd do the volume is equal to 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius of the sphere, which is 14 cubed. Now, this is a calculator question, so it's quite nice. We can just do on our calculator 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by 14 cubed. And that gives us an answer of 10,976 over 3 pi or 11,494.04032 and so on centimeters cubed. And let's just run that to two decimal places. So that'll be 11,494.04 centimeters cubed to two decimal places, and that's it. And if you got that, well done. So that's how we find the volume of that sphere. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time we've got a sphere, and feel free to press pause and find the volume of this sphere. Okay, so if I wanted to find the volume of the sphere, what I would do is I'd do the volume is equal to four thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. Now, in this case, the diameter of the sphere is equal to seven meters. So it means the radius halfway across, halfway across it would be 3.5 meters. So it means the radius is 3.5, so 3.5 cubed. And again, this is a calculator question, so we can just type this in on our calculator. And when we do that, we get 343 over 6 pi or 179.59438 and so on meters cubed. And let's just round this. I'm going to round it to one decimal place. That'll be 179.6 meters cubed to one decimal place. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time this is a non-calculator question, so I'm putting my calculator down. And I want us to find the volume of the sphere. And feel free to do this question now. So press pause and find the volume of the sphere, but you can't use a calculator. Okay, so if we want to find the volume of the sphere, the volume is equal to 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius, which is 6 cubed. So we need to work out what 6 cubed is. So 6 times 6 is equal to 36. And then if we do 36 multiplied by 6, let's see what we get. 6 times 6 is 36. So put our 6 down and carry our 3. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 3 is 21. So 6 cubed is 216. So we've got the volume is equal to 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by 216. So we've worked out 6 cubed. Now we just need to work out 4 thirds of 216. So to find 4 thirds of something, we divide by the denominator. We're going to divide it by 3, and then we'll get that answer, and then times it by the numerator, which is 4. So let's do 216 divided by 3. So how many 3s go into 2? 0, remainder 2. How many 3s go into 21? 7. And how many 3s go into 6? That's 2. So if we divide 216 by 3, we get 72. Now we need to do 72 multiplied by 4, because we're working out 4 thirds of it. So multiply by 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 4 times 7 is equal to 28. So 4 thirds of 216 is 288. So the answer would be 288 pi, and then our unit centimeters cubed, and that's it. So if you've done that and you got that correct, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this time we've got a question which involves a solid glass sphere with this got a radius of eight centimeters. So a sphere with a radius of eight centimeters, solid glass sphere with a radius of eight centimeters. The density of the glass is 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed. And we've been asked to find the mass of the glass sphere. So what I would do is in a question like this, I'd first of all work out the volume of the sphere to begin with. So the volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. So if we do that, we can get the volume of sphere. And then we know that each centimeter cubed of the glass weighs 2.5 grams. So we can then work out the mass of the sphere. So let's do that. So let's work out the volume. The volume is equal to four thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius, which is eight cubed. And this is a calculator question. So we can type that in our calculators, four thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by eight cubed. And when we do that, we get 2048 over three pi or 2144.660585 and so on centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the sphere, the solid glass sphere. Now we want to find the mass of the glass sphere. 
Now in terms of that, well, we know that each centimeter cubed weighs 2.5 grams. So here we've got 2,144.66 and so on centimeter cubes. So if we multiply that by 2.5, we can find the mass of the sphere. Alternatively, you could remember that density is equal to mass divided by volume. We want to find the mass, so we want to make m the subject. So we multiply, multiply by v and multiply by v, and we get that the density times the volume is equal to the mass. So if we just do the density times the volume, we get the mass. So let's multiply these together and get the mass. So 2144.660585 and so on, multiplied by 2.5 is equal to 5361.651462 and so on grams. Now in terms of the mass of the glass, because this is in grams, I'm gonna change it into kilograms. So I'm gonna divide by thousand. So it's gonna be 5.36165 and so on kilograms and I'm just going to round this I'm going to round it to four decimal places so that'll be 5.3617 kilograms to four decimal places to four dp and if you got that well done and I'd highly recommend today that you look at the practice questions because there might be questions that involve density and mass of objects and things like that and that's where the practice questions will be quite useful but this just show you that often whenever you're dealing with the volume of spheres you might be dealing with situations it might be you know um you know in this case solid glass spheres that have a you know radius of eight centimeters and a certain mass a density and you have to find the mass of it and so on okay let's have a look at one last question so this time what I've given you here is actually the volume of the sphere and what I want you to do is to find the radius of the sphere so feel free to press and to work out if a sphere's got a volume of 50 centimeters cubed, what's the radius of that sphere? Okay, so if I was to do a question like this, the first thing I would do is to write down the formula. The volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. Well, we know the volume is equal to 50, so we've got the 50 is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. So we want to find out what the radius of the sphere is. So we want to find out what r is. So we don't want this four thirds, we don't want this pi, and we don't want this cubed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by four thirds pi. So I'm going to divide the left hand side by four thirds pi, and I'm going to divide the right hand side by four thirds pi. So if I do 50 divided by 4 thirds pi, I get that's equal to 11.93662 and so on. I'm not going to run that. I'm going to keep that on my calculator display. So I've divided both sides of the equation by 4 thirds pi. On the left-hand side, we've got 11.93662 and so on. And then on the right-hand side, we divided by 4 thirds pi to get rid of the multiply by 4 thirds pi. So we're just going to be left with r cubed. Now, we don't want this cube, so we're not going to cube root both sides of this equation. So we're going to do the cube root of 11.93662. 6, 6 and so on. It's on my calculator display. So if I just do the cube root of answer, that's going to give me what the radius is. And the radius will be equal to 2.28539 and so on centimeters. And I'm just going to round this. I'm going to round it to four decimal places. So that'll be that the radius is equal to 2.2854 centimeters to four decimal places. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the volume of sphere. I really hope you find this video useful. And in the description below is a link to the practice questions. So feel free to try those. So keep up the hard work. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also remember that their next video will be on YouTube at 3 o'clock. So 3 o'clock tomorrow will be the next 54 days to go until your GCC Maps exam video. Also on the website, if you go to courtmaps.com and you go to GCSE revision and you go to 100 days and you go to higher, you'll see it in a list of all the videos. So if you work your way up, you can then work your way if you've missed any and so on. So I really hope you found this video useful and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Cheers. Bye.